What is up everyone, this is MoGamer here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Minecraft launcher is not available in your account, error code 0x803f8001. So this is on a PC device obviously if you're facing this error and I'm going to show you what to do to fix this. So there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is right click into your date time thingy on the bottom right and then click into adjust date slash time. So you want to kind of play around with this but you want to have set time on automatically and then sync now and then adjust for daylight savings. Uh, you'd be surprised even on Apple, like the Play Store, uh, sorry, iOS Store, this happens actually a lot. So where if your time is not synced, the games or whatever, the apps don't download appropriately or for some reason, it just kind of messes up. So having this on manual or automatic playing around with this does help fix this. So you might need to actually do that to help fix this issue. Now, if you did this and you still like try to look for it in the Microsoft store and it still doesn't come up, that's perfectly fine. We're going to move on to the next step, which is in the search bar. We're going to start for something called the Microsoft store. As you see over here, you're going to like right click into it and go to app settings, which is this is going to pop up. Once this pops up, we're going to do a couple of things. You can do terminate and then turn it back on after you do the date thing to see kind of like does this fix the process because it kind of like restarts it in a sense right you could do reset which is repairing it uh, it says if the system component isn't working right we can try to repair it the system component data won't be affected definitely do this as well because this is going to like kind of like a I think of it like a reinstall maybe and kind of go from there and then the final thing is reset. This is going to delete everything in there. It's just a Microsoft store, not a big deal, but it'll really literally try to turn it to like reinstall it back in. And then hopefully from once you do this, you should technically be good to go. This error should come because it's not a legitimate error, right? It's just a, a weird system error that's popping up when you're trying to essentially download this. It might even be happening on other things that you might try to download. You can try it. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, let me in the comment section below. More than you guys up. If you guys are with the video, please smash that like button. Guys, make sure to subscribe. Then notification bell. I'm gonna get out. Peace.